Welcome everybody to another episode of We Inspired. Today we're going to be showing you a phenomenal little street food recipe called the samosa chap. We're going to be doing it with a twist, right? That's right. So we're going to do it slightly different. This is found throughout Bangladesh, India, all over Asia. This is called a shingara. It's, it's similar to a samosa. Um, it's going to have potatoes. We're going to make it simple. You can add other vegetables, but this is going to be simple, straightforward, hot samosa, shingara with a cold chana cha. This is going to be fantastic. Sweet, sour, spicy and everything. Yeah? Salivating. Excellent. <laughs> And I think to myself, what a wonderful Here are the ingredients. We'll go through with these once we start adding them. So Ruth, what are you doing for us today? So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to first make the chana cha. It's a cold, um, sort of like a salad type of dish. Um, you can have it on its own. But we're going to make that first and then we're going to make the shingara because we don't want to make the shingara first and then it gets cold. You want to try it hot shingara, cold chana uh, masala. Um, so we're going to bang on with the uh, chana masala first. Let's crack on then. So this is parboiled potatoes and in cubes. So you've got some yogurt, right? That's right. And this is just a tin of chickpeas. So you drained out, you've taken all the husks. Fantastic, mate. <clears throat> That's going to go in here. Then we're going to add, this is uh, 250 grams of just normal natural yogurt. All of it, yeah? Yeah. I think that's my favourite yogurt. You've used the Greek. Yeah. Yo. Then we're going to add, we're not going to add all these potatoes because some of them have to go in the samosa. So this, just a small amount, gives that little bit of extra taste. So give that a mix, again, half the cucumbers, that's one tomato, so we're going to put like half of it in, one red onion, again we're going to put half of it in here, and then we're going to use this, so this is chana masala. This is straightforward. Chat can, masala. Sorry, chat masala. You can buy this for about a pound in your local Asian stores. It's really, all you do is just add it to uh, the chana and give it a mix and it tastes fantastic. Brilliant. So we're going to add. It's got, it's got the spicy, sour. There you go. <clears throat> Arm chor, everything all in there. Phenomenal flavouring. This should be about three teaspoons. Oh wow, it's gonna be beautiful. And then we're gonna keep some to sprinkle over the top. Give that a good mix. So this bit is the healthy part, yeah? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> you can already smell this. Whoa, pungent bit. <clears throat> so this is can be just a little salad, side salad, yeah. right? Yeah. It only takes, you probably have all these ingredients at home apart from, I'm guessing this. The chat masala, yeah? Yeah. A pinch of salt. A little bit of coriander. We're going to use all that for garnish afterwards. So Latif, I'd like you to taste it. Mate, that looks interesting, mate. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. Gorgeous, mate. Looks yummy-licious. But what I'm gonna do, I love that. I'll whack it in, there you go. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, mate. Mm -mm -mm. A bit of lime, a bit of lime there, that'd be good. I was just about to say that. Yeah. You can add lime on that. So this tastes nice. Now we're going to have to get that, so this is going to be the topping, right? That's right. So this is going to be a topping, and then you're going to use a bit of tamarind sauce and everything. Oh, I can't wait. Let's start cooking. So we're going to add one teaspoon of panch prawn. This is Bangladeshi garam masala. A whole diced onion. A 
with a half a teaspoon of salt. So the onions have caramelized. It took a good five to six minutes. Now the spice is right. So yeah, that's a half a, a teaspoon of chili, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and half a teaspoon of coriander. Give that a mix. Put the gas slightly lower. And burn. I think the onions are done. Can have the potatoes. So these are boiled potatoes, so it's going to be cooked faster and easier. So all in all, we use two small small potatoes. <clears throat> we use Maris Piper, so it's nice and waxy. Looking wonderful, mate. I think it's ready. Sprinkle a bit of coriander. Why not? There you go. Gorgeous. So you ready, yeah, to make the pastry? Yeah, so uh, we're gonna get this pastry ready. This is 250 grams of flour. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. So this is the Khalanji, the nigella seeds. So half a teaspoon, yeah? That's right. <clears throat> little, little bites when it's bite into that chingara is gonna be gorgeous. So now we're gonna add water. So you add a small bit of water, a little bit at a time and then you mix. Add um, two tablespoons of oil. This is just normal cooking oil. Give that a good mix. Looks like pastry's done, mate. Yeah, that's done. So we're gonna put a bit of cling film over that and we're gonna let it rest for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna have a break and come back. Nice little tea break now. Voila. So the dough is ready. Here we are. What we're gonna do is put them in little balls. What size balls, mate? So this is just a little bit bigger than a golf ball. Okie dokie. In fact, Start making them right now. Get a bit more flour. Let's stick in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it into four pieces. A lot of people tend to cut this into two pieces. I prefer it to do it like this because it's much easier for me and it will be much easier for you as well. Here we are. Let's get a small amount. I've made this nice and small. Get three corners. Look at this. Pinch it and then pinch every corner here. Make sure it's closed because when you're frying it, and oil gets in, it will ruin everything. So, here we go. In fact, Ruth, you're a genius. <laughs> nice, simple, and easy. Perfect. Do the same thing with the rest of them. Again. Three corners. As soon as you get the three corners in, the rest is just a piece of cake. Here we are. So this is done. It's Lovely. looking kind of fantastic. Samosas, got all the trimmings ready. Fantastic. Let's it's start frying. Fry. Leave the gas. Slightly low because you don't want to uh, sort of burn the pastry. Um. 
Did you say that, let's see? Lovely jubbly, mate. It looks gorgeous, mate. Nice. There you go. Beautiful. Nice and crispy, crunchy. Wonderful, mate. Wonderful. Looks scrumptious, mate. There we are. Ready, Maroof? Here we are. So we've done everything basically. But lastly, we've got some more yogurt. Yeah? Uh, just your normal Greek yogurt. We give this a mix. This is going to go on as a topping sort of thing. Take it slightly thinner. It's a normal natural yogurt, just the same as we did uh, in the chana. Here we are. This is all ready now. That's how we're going to do it. Yeah. Normally they bust it open, mate. So you can, yeah, you can bust it open. There you go. Let's see the inside. Yo, that looks delicious, mate. Look at that waxy potatoes. Yum. Gorgeous, mate. There you go. There you go. Rip it apart, mate. That's it. It's easy to get a bite for proper samosa chat. That's it. Fantastic. Here we are. We've got this. Now you, it's really piping hot. You add this, cools it down. As much as you want, really. Yeah, then you just garnish it with all this. Cucumber, lots of onions, tomatoes, coriander. Green chilies. Green chilies. You like it hot? Yeah. Lots of green chilies. Yeah. My salatif. You sprinkle a bit more of this, not too much. Yo. Yeah. And then this bad boy. What's this sauce called, mate? This is. Tamarind sauce. Oh, mate. Sour, tangy, spicy. Whacking a piece of lime in there, ain't it? Look at that. Bit of lime. It looks like a messy deliciousness. Ah, oh, this is... <laughs> I'm dribbling. <laughs> this is gonna taste absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Right. This is looking mouth-watering. Just added a bit of sprinkle of Bombay mix. You can use Sev mix, but it looks wonderful. Tamarind, yogurt, oh, cucumber, coriander, green chili. Phenomenal. Let's have a little bit of a taster. So let's get a bit of that samosa. There you go. Wonderful. So that's the samosa pastry, yogurt, the tamarind. Wonderful. Let's have a taste. This one up. Mm. Wow. This is proper street food stuff. These, uh, the samosa, the shingara, because it's that pastry samosa, it's really nice, really flavoursome. That waxy potato inside, and with that yogurt chickpea, and with that tamarind sauce, and that wedge of lime, absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic umami of flavours. Beautiful. Very Moorish. Have another big fat bite. Mm. Crunchy Bombay mix. Very flavoursome. Wonderful dish. Maruf, you have a try. Work done, yeah? Yeah. 
are you searching for? Uh -huh. Trying to take one or two chilies out. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. Let's have a look. I think I've got a bit of everything on here. Yeah, pastry, everything there, mate. Oh, I've been salivating for a while. Let's check this out. Mmm. Oh, that's brilliant. You know what? It's just moorish. I just want to have more. I'm going to have to wrap my, make myself another portion. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. That tamarind. Oh, that tamarind and the lime. The crunch at the end. Hot. Um, shingara samosa. And then you've got the cold uh, chana uh, cha masala. It's sort of hot and cold. Oh, I love that, that, that in, in your mouth, the, all the taste. It's fantastic, bro. So if you like this um, video, like, share and subscribe for some more fantastic videos. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram. Um, see you soon.